Hey guys, what's going on? So, today I've reached tier 20, and I realized I actually unlocked this weapon right here. It's called the 416 Shorty. Now, you do have different variants of the 416. You have the 416 Scouts, and I think the M416, which is basically an assault rifle. This is probably an SMG. It says right here, CQC, shorter range, less recoil. So, it's probably an SMG. I really don't know yet. I haven't really uh, retrieved the reward yet, as you can see right here. You do have to be tier 20, so I'm about to unlock it. Let's fucking go. Here we go. Aw, oh, nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, here we go. Second weapon. Not second weapon. Second. Camo paint, okay. We don't really care about that, now do we? Alright, let's check this bad boy out real quick. Oh wait, I gotta buy it first, don't I? Alright, I am in the bivouac, so I think I can just easily buy it. Alright, let's see, where is that? Weapons on demand. Um, here we go, the 416 shorty. Oh, I do get it in the blue variation. What, is, what happens if I buy it again? Will I get it in a better var variation? Purple! Now, this means I'm getting it in golds. Nope. We're just going to keep continuing this. Not sure why. Uh, nope. This is a waste of money, though. But no one cares. Alright, fuck it. Let's just... Uh, <laughs> I just probably bought like four of them. Five, six. I don't even know. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see if it's an SMG. Oh, it apparently isn't. It's an uh, assault rifle, as you can see right here. Alright, let's try it out. Let's wear that shit. Let's get rid of the, all the other ones. It's all just a waste, to be honest. I really did not see that coming, though. I really thought it was going to be a um, SMG. Oh my god, look at that. I really like the back of it. I mean, just look at that. I, it, it's. It, I think this this just looks fucking amazing, though. All right, let's see. All right, let's put some standard mag, I guess. Why would you want to put a shorter mag on it? Suppressor. This attachment is really good. The advanced uh, IR laser increases range and stability. I mean, that's really good, in my opinion. I always go for the COMP M4 sight. And, well, you can't put a grenade launch on it, which sort of makes sense, I guess. Why don't I put this on it? Time to aim and stability bonus. Let's put that on, I guess. Dude, this gun looks fucking amazing, though. Alright. Here we go. Let's just unlock all this shit real quick. All that good shit. Here we go. Alright, so we maxed out the weapon. MK3. There we go. And as you can see right here, I do have the 416 Scout as well with me. This is a DMR. I think you can get it from the... Um, yeah, how did I... I think it's from the Medic class? Yeah, it's the it's a Medic uh, weapon. The DMR. I believe. If not, then please correct me. Let's change tactics real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Assault class. Because, you know, it's an Assault Rifle, so I'm just gonna go for that class. All right, here we go. Let's put some other um, perks on it. Now, we don't really need the... What's this thing called? Ballistic Advantage. I don't think that's really needed. I think I'm going to go for Slim Shadow. Because that gives you 80% stealth. Not 80%. 80 plus stealth, I guess. Probably the Pack Mule. And what should we do for the last one? The last one I'm gonna go 56 cents because it gives you 25 plus meter auto marking, plus the 15 um, automatic marking. Maybe instead of the rocket launcher, let's do Intel. All right, here we go. This is our loadouts. Level 230 gear score, assault 10. I think we're good to go. I guess it's not really much to change here. I do look fucking basic. All right, let's grab a chopper. There we go, all that good shit. You know what's really good. All right, let's see which base we can uh, attack. 
Maybe we should do one... Maybe I should do one that we haven't attacked yet. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Because this one... Hasn't been really explored yet. And there's some rewards here. So let's do this one. Alright, we're at the base. Here we go. Find our first enemy. Ooh. This gun has a pretty good rate of fire. I like that. It, it's decent enough to keep the gun steady. Because you do have some of these weapons that have a really high rate of fire. Oh, I thought it was an enemy for a second. Yeah, if you're playing on extreme, I highly recommend I highly recommend you to use auto marketing on your uh, perks and talents. All right, here we go. Easy, easy. Oh, oh, I'm getting spotted. What's seeing? What's looking at me? Oh, yes. This space is pretty easy to do, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's a guy over there. There's two guys over there. I'm just gonna go in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing to see here. Alright, what's looking at me? What's looking at me? There we go. Oh, 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 shit. Who saw me? Oh, shit. They can one-shot me. They can one-shot me. Yeah, these snipers can easily one -shot. Well, not probably not when I'm using the Assault class, since it has an extra health bar. But when you play something else, and you play on Extreme, and they shoot you with a sniper, you're pretty much dead. I mean, they just one-shot you. Alright, we already fucked this up. Alright, kill you real quick. Oh my god. Oh my god, I already choked that one. Alright, who's next? It's gonna be you, sir. I'm gonna camp here all day if I have to. It's probably not a good thing to do. Alright, let's move up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna rotate to the other side so they won't know where I am at. Go this way. Oh, they already lost me. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's not. He's on the other side. Oh my god. The gun is good for close, mean range. Well, mostly close range. The medium, medium range gets a little bit difficult. There's also not really a lot of uh, aim assist on extreme, so that makes it also a lot harder. So if you're one of these people that don't play on extreme, then you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Because on easy and normal mode, the, auto, the aim assist is really good. I mean, you, you basically don't even have to... Uh, Turn left or right. It just automatically aims at the uh, tar uh, target. It even follows up a little bit. How do they not know I'm here? Okay. Easy. Who's next? Better not be a goddamn sniper looking at me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, where'd he go? can hear some people from the right side as well. Good thing I have auto marketing. Oh god. Oh shit. Come here boy. Oh my god. Dude, he could have... I almost got myself killed. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Quickly, heal. There we go. Well, I don't know where the other ones are at. Probably camping somewhere. I am so used to playing a sharpshooter. I always keep forgetting that I don't have uh, the sensor launcher, which really helps a lot with scanning the area. Hmm, where could he be? Oh, I can hear him from there. Alright, just show me your face and that's all good. Oh shit. There we go. 
Yeah, this gun is not really that practical. I, I would recommend you to use a different assault rifle. I mean, the, the gun is, looks cool and all that shit. It has a good rate, rate of fire. It's just the long range and the mid range are just not working well with this gun. Well, depending on how you play. I mean, basically any gun except for shotguns are really good for any for any situation. Because you can basically just one shot them in the head. But if you're rushing like me... Which was not the plan. Then I would recommend you to use a different assault rifle. What's this guy? Oh, he's a scientist. Alright. Now, I really can't find the last one. Which really annoys me. Even on extreme mode. I mean, I get that you have to slow play on extreme mode. But I'm rushing for everything. And I still can't find him. Oh, he apparently lost me. Well... That one pretty easy. Just running in there. Guns are blazing. Alright, I've been running around this map for a while and I really can't find him. So I don't know where the fuck he is. But I'm just gonna loot everything. And see what's really good. Alright, we got the LMG stoner. Level 30, I like what I'm seeing here. Anything yellow really gets me happy. Because it just gives you uh, a higher total gear level. mostly Most of the times. All right, yellow beanie. Exactly what I want. There we go. Not the beanie, just the gear level. I don't really focus too much on the uh, talents they give you. Because I just want to level up to the max. And then I'll pay attention to the talents I need to make my perfect build, I guess. This gun is really good for headshot making. Because the it shoots really steady from close range. It's better than the uh, Vector, the Scorpion, the M5, the UMP. This gun has more steadiness when it comes to close range. It, it does have a pretty decent rate of fire, which is good for uh, steady shooting. Close range wise, it's good. Steady shots are good. It's just that it doesn't do a good job when it comes to uh, medium range or long. Long range definitely. Don't, don't even think about using this as a long range weapon. You will not get. You will not be happy when you use this as a long range weapon. But other than that, the gun looks cool. It's a new type of weapon, new variation. I know opinions matter uh, a lot because people have different opinions. And everyone thinks differently about this weapon. I don't think everyone can agree on the same things on this weapon. Because some people like high rate of fire close quarters. Some people like slow rate of fire on close quarters. And, you know, everyone plays differently. I know most people play with snipers and assault rifles. So this is not... A gun that most people are going to get used to. So yeah, with that said, I hope you guys liked and enjoyed. 